वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू द डीएसटीएमएल इज ए कलेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज कॉल्ड डायनेमिक एसटीएमएल और डीएसटीएमएल एंड इट इज यूज टुगेदर टू क्रिएट इंटरेक्टिव एंड एनिमेटेड वेबसाइट वाइल इन केस ऑफ एसटीएमएल एसटीएमएल with help of html we can develop a static website uh, and uh, to make it dynamic we have to use html javascript and other technology so this is called dhtml so it is not a markup language uh, like html it is a web standard and it is combination of static markup language means html and client side scripting language like javascript and a presentation definition language like css cascading style sheet and document object model so it is combination of uh, all these four means we can say dhtml is a combination of html javascript css and document object model so the combination of all these four is called dhtml dynamic markup language so i am coming on the program of dhtml so basically uh, again i am uh, explaining you dhtml is not a particular language and it not uh, it not uh, it is not a uh, uh, markup language like html uh, it is a collection of technology so you can see here in the first paragraph it is a collection of technology which is used together to create interactive and animated website so uh, you have to focus it uh, it uh, used to used uh, together to create interactive and animated website now some more uh, features of dhtml uh, the application of dhtml was introduced by uh, microsoft with release of internet explorer for in 1997 it means it is started from 1997 and dhtml allowed different scripting language in a web page uh, to change their variable which enhance the effect looks and many other functions after the whole page has has been fully loaded so dhtml is a uh, it allow different scripting language so we have been different scripting language like javascript vb script c sharp script other is and other scripting language so it allow all these type of scripting language and uh, so that it uh, it can enhance it can change the variable change their variable and uh, enhance the effect looks and many other functions after whole page has been fully loaded so these are the features of uh, dhtml and uh, it is very simple and uh, simplest feature, feature is making the page dynamic and can be used to create animation game and different application so with help of dhtml we can create different games we can create animation and different type of application uh, facilitates the user the usage of event method property and code reuse so in uh, dhtml we can also facilitates the use of events methods and properties and code reuse so it means we can include events as well as method property property means variable code reuse inside the dhtml so it makes web experience faster and more interactive and more end user so if uh, we are creating any dynamic page so obviously the experience will be faster and more interactive so this is the main uh, importance of this uh, dhtml and you can see it is very uh, after seeing all these features uh, now you can understand that dhtml is a very important uh, group of technology and it's part of this web programming and web technologies so now see one program uh, where we are using scripting and html so we have started the program uh, exclamation sign exclamation sign and doc type html so it means we are uh, using html5 and html head inside the head we have title and then we have script so inside head we have 
script a title as well as we have a script and inside the script we have one function so the name of function is preferred browser so now uh, now i am coming on form uh, in the body part we have form and we have this message choose which uh, browser you prefer and you can see here select and slash select so it means select is a uh, select is a combo box by using this select keyword we can create a combo box so the name of select name of combo box is browser so id id means its name name uh, we can write here name as well as we, we can write here id id equals to browser and on change on change means when we will change on this uh, combo box uh, then it will execute preferred browser function which we have seen in the um, head portion so this is preferred browser function so when we will click on uh, this combo box then it will activate this uh, function preferred browser and we have uh, the option two options are here uh, first is internet explorer and second is firefox so inside the combo box we have two item two element two option uh, first option is internet explorer and second option is firefox their value is this and it will be displayed like that uh, visible uh, by Internet Explorer and Firefox same same thing a value and this its caption also be same and option is closed here we have started from here and here we have closed the option again we have closed the option so when we will we'll click on any any one of the value uh, any one of the value Internet Explorer and Firefox here display hoga or ye iski value hogi ye value hogi and it will be displayed on the combo box सेम वैल्यू हमने लिखी हुई है तो एक चीज तो डिस्प्ले हो जाएगी यहाँ पर दिखेगी हमको स्क्रीन पर और ये दिखेगी नहीं पर ये जैसे हम इस पर सेलेक्ट करेंगे देन द वैल्यू वेरिएबल के अंदर जो वैल्यू है वो यहाँ पर ट्रांसफर हो जाएगी यू कैन सी हियर वैल्यू ये जो वैल्यू है ये वैल्यू का मतलब यहाँ पर ब्राउजर डॉट वैल्यू सो ब्राउजर इज आई डी आई डी ब्राउजर डॉट वैल्यू सो दिस विल बी लाइक दैट so as we click on this uh, one suppose we have clicked on firefox so we'll move on on we have changed the combo box so on change will activate and preferred browser will activate it will start running uh, function preferred browser will activate and here we have written document dot forms zero position dot browser dot value so you can see here document dot document means in, in javascript uh, we will represent it by document form will be represented by document mm, uh, document dot form everything will be represented by document document dot form form means this form there is no name of this form so that's why uh, we will uh, use here forms zero position means we, we will have more than one form then uh, array of forms so we are using here zero zero means first form dot browser browser means this one browser uh, this is uh, id this is id of id of combo box so we have written form dot browser dot value browser dot value with inter, uh, firefox so as we have clicked on firefox so it will uh, access the value it will retrieve it firefox so the value will be firefox so the alert alert will, will display you you prefer browsing internet with prefer prefer inside the prefer we will have firefox so if firefox yahan se move ho karke prefer ke andar chala jayega aur alert mein display ho jayega ki we have selected uh, you prefer the browsing internet with uh, with prefer prefer ke andar kya hai firefox to aapne yahan pe jisko select kiya to wo aa gaya alert mein ki aapne isko select kiya hai prefer kiya hai तो डायनेमिक हो सकता है इसको एंड फर्दर वी कैन कनेक्ट विद द फायरफॉक्स एंड इसी तरह से हम और उसमें भी ले सकते हैं कि हम जो प्रेफर कर रहे हैं अकॉर्डिंगली हमारा वो ओपन हो रहा है तो इस तरह की प्रोग्रामिंग कर सकते हैं सो वी हैव गिवन ईयर दिस स्टेटमेंट तो थोड़ा सा यहाँ पर ये ये चीज़ समझना जरूरी है कि एवरी इज रिप्रजेंटेड बाई डॉक्यूमेंट तो यहाँ पर अगर कोई प्रिंट करते हैं तो विल राइट डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट राइट और अगर जावा के केस में क्या होता है सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल सिस्टम डॉट इन डॉट रीड एल सो एवरीथिंग इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सिस्टम तो वहाँ पे सिस्टम्स के रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं चाहे इनपुट स्टेटमेंट है आउटपुट स्टेटमेंट है 
तो बाई डिफॉल्ट सिस्टम लेता है सिस्टम कंसोल को रिप्रेजेंट करता है हॉवर इन केस ऑफ दिस जावा स्क्रिप्ट डॉक्यूमेंट रिप्रेजेंट कंसोल एंड डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट फॉर्म जीरो दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस फॉर्म फॉर्म जीरो किसको रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है फॉर्म को फॉर्म नेम होता तो यहाँ पे नेम आ जाता डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट फॉर्म का नेम आता है यहाँ पे बट वी हैव नॉट गिवन हियर द नेम ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट नेम ऑफ फॉर्म दैट्स वाई वी हैव रिटर्न हियर फॉर्म जीरो एंड ब्राउजर मीन्स दिस आई डी दिस इज द फर्स्ट कॉम्बो बॉक्स तो ब्राउजर डॉट वैल्यू मीन्स वैल्यू विच वी हैव सेलेक्टेड सपोज वी हैव सेलेक्टेड फायर फॉक्स सो इट विल टेक फायर फॉक्स एंड फायर फॉक्स विल बी ट्रांसफर टू द प्रीफर एंड अकॉर्डिंगली ऑन एलर्ट इट विल डिस्प्ले दैट वी हैव प्रिफर फायर फॉक्स तो तो ये एक कोड है कि दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ कोड जैसे हम हमने कहा कि हम हाँ सपोज वी आर सर्चिंग एनी थिंग ऑन वेब एंड बाई डिफॉल्ट वी हैव वी आर सेलेक्टिंग गूगल जैसे हमने कोई भी सर्च के लिए डाला उस पर तो सीधे सीधे गूगल पर रूट कर जाए वो किसी और बिंग पर ना जाए किसी और सर्च इंजन याहू सर्च इंजन पर ना जाए सीधे गूगल पर चला जाए या याहू पर चला जाता है तो हम वी कैन रूट इट वी कैन मेक इट डायनेमिक कि हमने जो भी लिखा और ऐसे ही अगर हम अगर हमारे ऑप्शन शो रहे हैं कि डू यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च फ्रॉम गूगल और बिंग और याहू अल्टा विस्ता जो भी है सर्च इंजन तो अगर आपसे दे रहा है तो आप वहाँ पर उसको सेलेक्ट कर सकते हैं तो अकॉर्डिंगली इट कैन मूव ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर सर्च इंजन सो दिस वे वी वी आर मेकिंग इंट्रैक्टिंग एंड डायनेमिक टू आवर पेज नाउ यू कैन सी अनदर प्रोग्राम वी हैव टू और थ्री प्रोग्राम सो दिस प्रोग्राम बाई प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस प्रोग्राम यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द जॉब द डी एस टी एम एल द यूज ऑफ डी एस टी एम एल एंड द बेनिफिट ऑफ डी एस टी एम एल एंड इट्स अप्लीकेशन सो नाउ अगेन यू कैन सी हियर लिटिल गुड वी हैव ट्राई टू मेक इट डायनेमिक सो यू कैन सी वी हैव स्टार्टेड बाई एस टी एम एल द हेड एंड वी हैव वन टाइटल एंड देन स्क्रिप्ट इज हेयर तो इन साइड स्क्रिप्ट द फंक्शन इज कन्फर्म इनपुट स्क्रिप्ट टाइप इज टैक्स ऑफ दी जावा स्क्रिप्ट वी कैन राइट हेयर वी वी स्क्रिप्ट ऑल्सो सी साफ स्क्रिप्ट ऑल्सो सो वी हैव गिवन द टाइप ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट एंड द फंक्शन कन्फर्म इनपुट इज द फंक्शन सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस फंक्शन फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस दिस बॉडी पार्ट बॉडी एंड इन साइड बॉडी वी हैव फॉर्म ऑन सबमिट एज वी सबमिट दिस फॉर्म इट विल एग्जीक्यूट दिस कन्फर्म इनपुट एंड अगेन वी हैव वन मोर एक्शन इट विल ओपन दिस गूगल सर्च इंजन सो यू कैन सी अब नाउ विल कम इन साइड द फॉर्म सो यू कैन सी हियर इंटर योर नेम एंड इनपुट आई डी इनपुट आई डी एफ नेम टाइप टैक्स बॉक्स दिस इज टैक्स बॉक्स एंड इट्स नेम द नेम ऑफ दिस टैक्स बॉक्स इज एफ नेम एंड द साइज ऑफ टैक्स बॉक्स इज ट्वेंटी so as we will submit this text box it will act activate uh, this confirm input so we have written here on submit as we will click on this submit it will activate confirm input and this inside this confirm input we have given again you can see here document dot form 0 this this form 0 it will represent this form form 0 it means Uh, हमारे पास एक से ज़्यादा फॉर्म हो सकते हैं तो जीरो हम एरे की फॉर्म तरह ले रहे हैं इसको सो वी आर टेकिंग हेयर फॉर्म जीरो डॉट एफ नेम एफ नेम इज एफ नेम इज द टैक्स बॉक्स विच इज इनसाइड द फॉर्म सो नेम ऑफ दिस टैक्स बॉक्स इज एफ नेम आई डी मीन्स नेम सो एफ नेम डॉट वैल्यू सो वट एवर वी विल टाइप ऑन दिस टैक्स बॉक्स इट विल ट्रांसफर टू द एफ नेम and on alert we are displaying here hello and uh, the name which we have typed on text box and then exclamation mark uh, you will now redirect it to home page uh, to ye alert mein ye show karega ki uh, that uh, the name which we have given here suppose humne user name diya hai to yahan pe aa jayega hello uh, jaise maine apna user name diya hai to hello and my name mera name aa jayega aur exclamation sign और ये मैसेज आ जाएगा कि यू विल नाउ रिडायरेक्टेड टू होम पेज एंड देन इट विल स्टार्ट दिस एक्शन एंड इट विल डिस्प्ले दिस गूगल सर्च इंजन मीन्स होम पेज ऑफ गूगल 
so it will transfer to the google home page so so we have two action here one is uh, on submit by this on submit we will start the function confirm input and by the action we will start the google.com after this alert as we will uh, press on ok button of alert it will start to display this google.com so if this is also uh, another tile to make the page dynamic so we are making the page dynamic dynamic कैसे डायनेमिक कैसे बना रहे हैं जैसे ही सबमिट कर रहे हैं तो हमारा फंक्शन ओपन हो रहा है और उसके अंदर अलर्ट आ रहा है जैसे ही अलर्ट पर क्लिक कर रहे हैं तो सर्च इंजन ओपन हो जा रहा है तो डायनेमिक एक तरह से समा उल्ट इज डायनेमिक पेज नाउ यू कैन सी वन मोर प्रोग्राम सो इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी आर चेंजिंग द टैक्स सो इन द फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम वेर वी आर टेकिंग Uh, the choice from user uh, about the browser which browser user want to uh, display so as user has clicked on firefox accordingly it will display on alert message that we have uh, clicked on this firefox browser and in second program uh, this in this in this program we have on submit and when we will submit on button click and this submit button it will open this function and display the message and then it will open the google uh, home page and now in this third one we are changing the string we are changing the uh, text of heading so we have been here uh, this program html then head then title and a head is closed here body is started from here and then we have one heading so you have to focus on this line you have to notice this line this is heading 1 h1 this is uh, its size is bigger so id equals to id means its variable name is header and uh, the heading is old header and heading is closed here then we are starting here script we now we are not writing script inside the head head mein nahi likh rahe hain script we are writing this script on body portion so uh, script type tags oblique java script and script is closed here and inside script we have written only one line and this one line is document dot get element by id header dot inner html new header so while writing the inner html we can change change this header so get element by id so we are getting this element we are getting this header uh, header element by id id is header so uh, we are getting the element by their by its id so it is header we are getting header document dot get element id isko humne get kiya hum we have uh, access this header and inner html will change uh, its heading by new header in place of old header it will be uh, it will fix new header this is string in uh, in place of this old header so it will replace old header by this new header so dot inner html by uh, the help of this uh, inner html it can change its header the old header now in next paragraph you can see here old header was changed to new header so when we will display when we will execute this program then you will find that uh, in place of this old header there will be this new header initially it will be uh, it is old header and later on it will be new header so this way we can change the heading so this is also dynamic programming so we are changing the heading and this way we can change any paragraph we can change heading we can change title also uh, if suppose uh, we have written here title id equals to something so um, accordingly we will write here document dot get element id by we will write here the id of title and and dot in the html and then we will write here new title so when we will execute it the title will be changed in place of the old old title now in the in this last and fourth program we we will change the image 
which is already fixed on the program so you can see again uh, this is started by HTML then head and then title head is closed here then body is started from here and then we have given the image image ID IMG IMG ID equals to image its variable name is image and SRC means it's, it's uh, name of image is map dot icon so this is the path suppose uh, this image is inside c colon slash so we will have to write here c colon slash image slash map icon dot png the um, type of image is png type image so the name of image is map icon dot png and the width of image is 160 and height is 120 now we'll start the script script type equals to text oblique javascript and inside the script we will write here document dot get element by id you can see in the previous program same statement we are writing here document dot get element by id id is header here so we can change header as well as we can change image also so we we have written here document dot get element by id image dot src so in case of image we will write here dot src and while in case of text we will write here inner html in case of text in case of heading in case of title in case of paragraph we will write inner html and in case of image any picture we will write here uh, dot src and equal sign uh, we will write the path and then thinking dot png so and the map icon dot png map dash icon dot png will be changed by thinking dot png so this is this uh, line will replace the screen uh, the image which we have given initially so this is the initial image and it's bit tighted this and, uh, and then after writing this script we have changed this uh, image map icon image by thinking dot png so uh, you can see the uh, message also inside the paragraph the original image was map icon dot png but the script changed its to thinking dot png so initially it will display this image but uh, when this script will execute then it will change uh, this image it will replace this image by thinking dot png so you can see here this is uh, we have also written here the message inside the paragraph so initially we have old header and uh, after running this script it will be changed by new header and inner HTML with the help of inner we will write here inner HTML document dot get element by id header dot inner HTML and in case of image it will be dot src so so this way we can change the uh, image also so so I have uh, explained you I have described you four different program of THTML so again um, as per the um, uh, DSTML basics of DSTML the DSTML is a collection of different technology DSTML is not a particular language so uh, DSTML has not any tags particular tags like HTML uh, in HTML we have bold tag italic tag underline tag but in DSTML we don't have any uh, specific tag of DSTML it is a collection of a different technology uh, we can say DSTML is a collection of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS and DOM document object model. So the collection of all these four is called DSTML. It is not a markup language. It is or a web standard. It's a collection of different technology. It is a collection of different technology. So you have to understand this fact. This is very important. This first slide is very important. So um, uh, this is collection of so um, uh, and DSTML allows different scripting language in a web page to change their variable, enhance the effect, looks, and many other functions after whole page has been fully loaded. So it makes the page interactive, more interactive, more uh, attractive, and more dynamic and it mm, making the page it is making the page dynamic and can be used to create animation game and different application so in uh, for creating animation for creating game the html is highly um, applicable and highly beneficial and uh, event method properties and code use can be uh, used in dstml 
and it make web experience faster and more interactive more and user so thank you very much listening to this lecture and uh, please press uh, subscribe button and press bell icon of uh, my video thank you again